what happened was there was a press release issued by the Minneapolis Police Department, and they described a man who had died of a medical emergency in their custody. Um, but what emerged was a completely different story because people were walking down the street with their cell phones, and they filmed it. And they captured um, the man that we would later learn was George Floyd, a black man crying out for breath until he went unresponsive. And it caused many, many days of civil unrest here in Minneapolis. A lot of clips were floating around um, social media and just the media at large. And the thought was, how can we create greater context for what was happening? We haven't had this rich amount of data for events in the past, so they wanted to do something to um, kind of bring that to life and give readers a sense of what it was like to actually be part of the protest. It was a lot of eyeballing and a lot of trying to figure out what was going on in the videos. Talking to people who were behind those cameras was really important as well. Um, but trying to create the right experience for a reader that would both not be overwhelming, um, but also would give context, because that was really the purpose of the project. Uh, we live. I think there's a lot of information that a reader could get from these videos that we couldn't necessarily tease out through data and then present to them through numbers. This is, should be a model of what you can do with social media. I think it told the truth in a way that was easy for readers to understand. And um, I think for me, that was probably the, the most important goal. And hopefully, hopefully some readers got something out of it. <laughs>